What are the best aromatherapy tools uh, that you use for utilizing your sense of smell to concentrate and memorize things better? Okay, so the tools themselves are different uh, than the, the 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 essential oils themselves. So this is something that I learned back in school, um, and this is over thirty years ago. So I'm dating myself, but I use that as an edge uh, to help me focus and help me remember. Uh, you might recall that uh, your sense of smell is the one that's most closely linked to memory out of your five uh, main senses. And I would use this trick where I would, your environment always gets linked to the information. And so the best way to study, uh, if you need to perform, is to prepare and study in the environment that you need to perform in. That kind of makes sense, right? Because unconsciously, the environment is giving you triggers that help you to recall the information and get you in state uh, because all learning is, as you know, state dependent. And some of you could repeat like a lot of these words I say on, a, um, on the repetitive because I do that purposely um, to help you embed that accelerated learning. But there, um, so what I would do is you can't always prepare in the room you need to perform in, right? Um, it's not like a Broadway play where you're rehearsing like on the actual stage where you need to recall that information. Um, so I was thinking very early, like, well, why don't I just bring the environment with me? And knowing that when I was reading these textbooks on, on neurology and our senses, that sense of smell is so powerful, then why not smell something that was unique? And then while I'm studying and preparing uh, for an activity or a test or whatever, and then I would just wear that same scent when I need to perform and it would, I would provide a trigger. Later on though, for essential oils, there are actually certain scents, um, essential oils that are good for your cognitive performance. And like we could talk about some of them. Now, in terms of tools, I have a diffuser in, uh, in two of my uh, rooms in my home. And uh, some of you know what that is. I'm not going to take time to explain it. You can look it up. Um, but I just put a couple of drops in, in there and it just permeates the entire room. Um, you could use personal inhalers. You could use, uh, there's aromatherapy jewelry. I, mean, I didn't know that. Um, some people use scented candles. I'm. We're doing a podcast episode on clean environments and candles are, are some of them, or the majority of them, I'm just going to put this out there. They're, they're some of the most toxic um, you know, things that you could put out in the air. So just be very careful. Um, when you're looking at the makeup of that candle, because it's just, it's no bueno for your brain, a lot of neurotoxins. Um, so we're probably not going to be sponsored by uh, a candle factory anytime uh, soon, but just look at the, look at, look, look at the chemicals that are in the, not the base, right? Uh, whether it's soy based or, or what have you, but look at specifically the chemicals and, or even go online and did your own research. Um, you could be a Google warrior and just kind of look it up. It'll give you an idea. So I'm not a big fan of candles unless they happen to be uh, well sourced, but those also happen to be very expensive. Um, so I'm just not something I really indulge in a whole lot. Um, so um, what I go for is essential oil sprays. If I don't have a diffuser, I just take a, a water bottle, um, a spray bottle, and I dilute it. Um, I, I put water in it, and I just put you know drops in there, and I could spray it either on my myself or in the environment. And that works out really well. Or a lot of times I use it topically. Like I have a parasympathetic blend that I put on um, before I go to sleep. And because I just know it's, it's part of my nighttime routine. So I have a parasympathetic blend that I use. Um, and it just reminds me because again, it's the consistency of it. And then once I, even if I don't do all the other stuff, if I use the parasympathetic blend, it just puts me in state besides the inherent value of the essential oils. It's also, since I'm using it when I wind down, regardless of what oil I was using or trigger, because it could be a sound, it could be a touch, it could be some people trigger and, and have like uh, kinesthetic anchors, like certain fingers for creativity or reading or whatever focus, mm -hmm. um, whatever you condition regularly, you get triggered. So I'll use, um, you know that also do you want to be able to remember confidently the information that you hear on this podcast do you want to improve your memory to easily and confidently be able to remember names and faces client information give a speech without notes learn another language remember what you read and so much more there's a solution and i call it your quick recall in just 15 minutes a day 
for 30 days, I've designed the ultimate course, how to unlock your quick recall. Just go to quickbrain.com forward slash recall. Enter podcast 15 for your immediate discount as a thank you for listening to our show. So for aromatherapy in terms of my tools, either a diffuser, it's a spray like in a water bottle or personal care spray that's diluted with water or topical, you know, one or two drops and I'm, I'm good. In terms of the actual oils themselves, um, my go-to are just like five or six. Rosemary, it's uh, been cited to enhance um, concentration. So it's just what a great edge, you know, cognitive performance, memory recall. Um, so that could in, that can in, increase uh, your chances of remembering, especially complex tasks. Um, thinking what I have on hand in the other room, peppermint. Uh, it's known as for its invigorating properties. Uh, can help stimulate the mind, boost concentration, uh, enhance uh, mental alertness. So that might be really good for especially like longer study sessions that you need. Um, another go-to is lemon. It has an, obviously, uh, if you've used lemon or it's just uh, lemon water, you're cutting lemons, it has an uplifting, energizing effect. Um, and things that are good for your mood tends to be good for your mind also as well. So it helps me with mental clarity. Uh, lavender is more associated. I use lavender more, um, not so much for when I'm studying or reading, but more when I want to wind down. Again, that's part of the parasympathetic uh, parasympathetic blend. Uh, so it can improve cognitive performance by reducing your stress, uh, anxiety levels also as well. Um, creates more of an internally calm environment. Uh, and then because of that, I could focus uh, better and have mental clarity. And then finally, if I was to add any extra, and I'll get to the next question, um, frankincense. I don't use it as much, but it helps promote uh, some promote relaxation. Again, reducing stress, because whenever you have an opportunity to reduce stress, it'll help you to be able to be more present you know, with, with the material that you want to be able to, to remember and study. Um, so it, anything helps you... To, relax will help me to personally to concentrate so it could overall uh, help your 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 brain performance um frankincense i'll use a lot stack like when i'm meditating if that makes sense um so i'll stack different modalities i'll use my new calm some of you know what new calm is for me it's my favorite app um that helps me to kind of kind of into flow states or meditate um, you know, there's calm and there's headspace, but for me, new calm is outperformed, you know, all, all of those again, N U C A L M. Um, and then, uh, eucalyptus, it's very refreshing, very stimulating. Um, and again, these you could get at, at your local grocery store, you get them on Amazon. Um, it's particularly good eucalyptus, uh, if, you ever been into like um like a, like maybe like a steam room uh, to help your your respiratory system and obviously oxygen is so important for the brain so that can enhance potentially the oxygen flow to your brain which uh, could be beneficial for your cognitive performance um and maybe sandalwood if I was to put one more there again for for mood enhancing properties, uh, which gives me mental clarity, has been shown to help with uh, calmness also as well. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll alternate with that um, for my meditation. Also, I feel like I go even deeper uh, in my meditative practices when I when I use sandalwood, um, and I don't use everything at the same you know all the time. And so it's just whatever kind of works for you. Um, if you're getting um, body work done you know, adding that into the oils, like maybe you have some kind of base and the therapist could, um, could add, you know, a few, a few drops of an essential oil. They're very potent, right? So you want to just, uh, kind of use your judgment. 